Hey guys, before the video started, I want to give you a quick update on what's been going on for us since it's been about two months since I've posted anything. So we have sold the house that we were in that you guys used to seen on the channel with the home theater, the big speakers and everything. Still have all that, but we did sell the home. Um, we moved everything into the new place here that we're staying and uh, it's, it's about four hours away from where we were. We did everything ourselves with the help of a few friends as far as moving, so that did take us some time. Um, like I said, we're several hours away, so it took us a little while to get all of that done, but we are here. We've been working on getting things unpacked and uh, organized. I haven't even actually had um, internet in my office here for my main editing computer, so I didn't even have it out until just last week, but I am working on some stuff. I'm excited to get some videos going for you guys. I've got a few things that I need to follow up on, as well as a whole new speaker system that we have for our space out here, so pretty cool stuff coming your way. <coughs> really? Now, we've also had a lot of time and energy spent on something really big happening for our family that is going to be totally awesome, not only for us, but for the channel. So we're excited to share that with you guys when the time comes. It's probably going to be a few months before we can really do or say anything, but uh, pretty awesome stuff coming. And Blake has been asking for a little bit more camera time. Um, she wanted to show off a little bit that she has learned in the past couple months here. So let me get situated. Are you showing? All right, we gotta look at the camera. Look this way. Oh my goodness. Oh no. You can do it. Whoa. Good job. So there you go, Blake's cool trick. High five. No, she hadn't learned that one yet. Uh, but as always, guys, I love and appreciate each one of you watching the videos and coming to my channel. I've got some pretty cool stuff coming after this short break that I need to take. Enjoy the video. Safety first. Welcome back to Life of Bliss. My name is Kyle. If you guys haven't been here before, uh, a lot of you probably are here because of the trailer rebuild or the, uh, I guess, refurbish that I did here recently of Clifford the Big Red Trailer, which we're standing in right now. Um, I bought a 20 foot by eight and a half foot wide trailer, ended up replacing all the floors because they were starting to rot out, put in all these E tracks along the floor and along the wall. Put in some LED lights so we can see everything. And the purpose of all this is we are getting ready to move here in about a month, um, but we are gonna take a load up to Kansas City where we're gonna be moving to. And I figured I would take you guys along for part of the way just because, like I said, a lot of you are probably here because of the trailer. So um, I'm gonna show you how I got everything loaded up. And uh, these Gladiator shells are almost perfectly made for this thing. They fit right over the wheel well, almost almost no room to spare plenty of shelving space so we can stack high instead of um, filling up the floor but the next step is to get the second shelf up so i've seen this trick um i've got about i don't know 40,000 subscribers right now that's right about the time people can do this sort of thing but if you take your fingers and maybe ha, and we have shelves tons of storage in here now so let's get to loading, shall we? So here is the basement right now. And as you can see, my wife clearly has a problem. Um, most of this stuff is obviously hers, but uh, you know, I'll be the one moving it. So you're welcome. Right? No. Good morning guys. So I had every intention of taking some footage of us loading everything up, but it was about 1.45 before we got finished and I didn't worry about any camera work. But we got everything loaded up, ready to go. This is a fairly light load. I mean, stuff's pretty jam packed in there and I didn't want to put a lot of stuff around the bike. Um, but I figure I probably got about 6,500 pounds, 6,000, 6,500 pounds in the trailer. There's um, some lead in there. So it's, it's weighing it down a little bit. Um, 
but anyways the bike is in here all secure that's not going anywhere We've got some tools my air compressor in case we need those everything's fitting in there pretty nice but like I said I want to do a fairly light load um, in comparison to what the the Escalade can pull it can pull roughly 8,000 pounds but I haven't pulled anything this heavy with it or really too much at all with it quite yet but got a 10,000 pound hitch on there everything is ready to go tires were inflated correctly Clifford is looking pretty good So we made the first trip up with Clifford and it did awesome. The Escalade actually did a great job pulling it. Uh, it's got tons of power. That uh, was not an issue whatsoever. Even through the Flint Hills there, as you could see, pretty hilly area. Um, the problem that we were having is it was so windy that it felt like a giant kite on the back end. We really couldn't go over 55 to 60 mile an hour. So it was definitely a longer trip than normal. Let me go ahead and show you the place that we're gonna be staying. So we got a heck of a deal on this place, zero down, zero month, and actually I'm moving in with my parents. We're all moving in with my parents. Uh, they have a beautiful home on 13 acres. They have three bedrooms, two bathrooms down in their basement here, and as you can see and tell by the echoes, most of it is unfinished. There is a full kitchen in the back for us to be able to use, but this area here should be getting finished off by the time we move in. We do have two or three more loads to come from uh, where we're currently at and that should be about another month, uh, five weeks before we close on our house. So they're having some people come down here and finish this up. Um, my dad has actually finished all of this up to the point that it's at now, but due to some, uh, some memory issues and other health issues, he has not been able to finish it off completely. So they're getting someone in here to be able to do that. But I did want to show you guys before it was finished what it looked like and actually this is this is the home that i grew up in um they have like i said 13 acres up here beautiful place awesome awesome place to be at i think it's going to be great for our kids to be out here for a little bit i don't know how long we're going to be up here but um, this is going to kind of give us a little bit of time to transition from where we were living and be able to find a place up here to stay in the Kansas City area. Stuff's just going off the market within a day or two, so we really want to be able to look at things before we purchase, so that's kind of the idea behind us living with my parents. So there we go, the first trip with Clifford is done, and this is gonna be the place we're gonna be staying. So I do have some more content coming out um, for some home theater stuff at our current place that we're staying at. And then I should be able to continue that with the space here. They have a pretty nice setup for that sort of thing. So I should be able to continue to do that sort of stuff. There's gonna be plenty of DIY projects around here for me to do. Even though the basement's getting finished, there's a lot of stuff that, uh, that my mom and dad need help with around here. So I'll be able to help them out. We'll be able to find a place up here. It's gonna be a good situation overall, but uh, yes, please make fun of me down below. I am moving back in with my parents, so is what it is. I'm just glad that they're able to accommodate us like this. I appreciate you guys watching Life of Bliss, and I will see you soon. Say bye. Eh. Oh. Bye-bye. Eh.